Well said, Mike. Well said. So, to backtrack a bit, uh, mainly just to get it out of the way, I want to talk briefly about the developer types again. Um, mainly because I myself have a hard time, you know, picking one that I particularly fall into. Uh, like, being an indie developer, there's just so much crossover between the different, uh, uh, I guess, roles. There's a better word, I just couldn't think of the better word. Uh, of, of creating games. Like, uh, you, you're either the coder, the artist, the designer, the suit, doing the businessy stuff. And you just you end up doing a little bit of a lot of things, you know, either through this necessity or by choice. Um, I really like a lot of the stuff. Um, like even in regular school, uh, I did a lot of art growing up. Uh, I didn't spend tons of time. Like I, as soon as I was able to start fiddling with computers and, and code, you know, that became my forte or my focus. Um, but I still kept it up a little bit, which when I finally decided to, you know, go out on my own, that led me to be able to actually make some art. You know, I was I was capable to a certain point, um, and I've taught myself and improved over the years, albeit slowly, but still something. Um, but there's just a lot of crossover in general. Like when uh, in the early days of Let 'Em Dare, uh, the, the, there's a bunch of us. We're even Half these guys, at least, uh, are part of the uh, uh, are part of the crew that were there at the beginning of Let 'Em Dare. Myself, Mike, Seth. Uh, uh, I got the the luxury, or if, or for lack of a better word, uh, of being the dude that uh, was the art the art cool guy. It was like, yeah, I got to be the art cool guy, uh, the coder that also did art. Uh, but I have to admit, recently, oh man, Mike's been doing some really awesome stuff. Like, he did a reskin of his Robot Wants, uh, I don't remember which one, uh, Robot Wants Whatever game for the Boy Scouts. Like, just, that's one of his contract gigs he's been doing. And, uh, oh man, he just, the, this, this, the, I think it's the last one he did. Just this, looks fantastic. Like, it's got a great sense of color. Uh, it's like all foresty and stuff. And I was like, wow, damn, I gotta step up my game. This Mike guy's kicking my butt. Ha! Ah. But, uh. And then those Raptis off who kicks our kicks our both our butts at art stuff. Damn that guy. But yeah, there's just so much sort of crossover be between the things, despite, you know, we may be a really good coder or really good designer or, you know, have shocking, surprising abilities at business or whatever. There's so much crossover that you know I can't pick one. Like, I I think the root of this, for me at least, is I've been a coder a long time, and that's always been my forte. I get a job in the game industry way whenever ago, and everyone has defined roles, and that's great. You want you want these defined roles in a business or whatnot, but it's it was always unheard of for a coder to do art, or especially or to do sound. Like everyone, the the the, the idea in a business setting or traditional non indie setting is no one is multifaceted. You're usually uh, at least especially on big projects, like you see the AAA stuff. You're, you're not even a coder, you're an AI coder, or you're a gameplay coder. Like, it, there's such defined roles that, ugh, you know, what... What if you want more from that? Like, what if you want to... to, to, to I don't know. Like, it, it, I never liked that. So, that kind of extended in my own sort of indie growingness thing, to, to do a lot of solo development, because, hey, I like to do some art too, or I like to do some sound. You know, music. If you know my my taste in music wasn't so uh, so 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 unhappy, um, that ah, you know I, I wanted to do so much more than the traditional game roles would would let me have. Um, I'm like a sponge. Like I just want to learn more and more stuff. Like a like a Mega Mega Man sort of situation where you want to fight businessman to take his power, art man to take his power, that kind of thing. I just I I, I don't uh, I I'm unhappy just being you know the coder. I never liked that. Um, and I also have this sort of need, if you will, uh, to make one more one more significant solo game on my own, like this this sort of 
magnum whatever crazy thing that I just I feel I have to do one more thing solo, you know, and then we'll you know then we'll start playing collaborating because man I'm expecting this next thing to be crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, very motivated by the idea that everyone says you shouldn't or you can't make a game solo or at least a big whatever kind of thing. Damn everyone. I don't want to show them. So that's that's what drives me. That's 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 why that's the other one of the other things about smiles that as has driven me kind of I want this to end. Well I want this to end because I have an ambition to do something insane, which I'm sure I'll talk a lot about in future messagey things. As well as big games. I want to talk about that too, but you know what? Whatever. End. This is too long. Bye.